Hello, and welcome to Optimize, our free website testing and personalization product. I'm Jason, a technical writer here at Google. I'm Praveen, product manager on Optimize. And today, we want to show you how to analyze Optimize reports. So we're going to show you where to find your experiment results, and most importantly, how to analyze and interpret those results. So Praveen, can you tell us a little bit more about why reports are important? Absolutely, happy to. Analysis and reporting in Optimize is one of those things that we are really quite excited about and actually very proud about as well. Optimize offers a robust statistical engine that makes it really easy and intuitive to make decisions on experiments. To begin, in Optimize, we use a statistical technique known as Bayesian analysis for determining experiment outcomes. Now, there's a lot of interesting benefits with this method of analysis, but without getting too deep into the math behind it, the biggest advantage is that it gives you answers that are intuitive to grasp. For example, you can answer the question, what is the probability that one of your variants is better than all the others? And if you went with that variant, what would the improvement be? Now, this is a basic question users of any system that does experiments should be able to answer. Note that this is not what a p-value or a statistical significance number will give you in a straightforward way. Jason, most people, even scientists, have trouble understanding what statistical significance actually does. And there's a lot of material about this online, but we're not going to get into all that detail today. Sounds like a topic for another day, especially Absolutely. given the pushback from the scientific community. Well, do you want to show us around the reporting UI a little bit? Absolutely. Let's dive right in. So in the optimized report, you will actually see a lot of detail that really help you understand what your experiment uh, is doing. So we're going to go through this section by section, and we'll start with the top section, which is showing you a recommendation based on the data that Optimize has seen so far. So if your experiment is going really well, and there is some clear winners or leaders among your variants, Optimize will call that out at a certain point and will give you what the probability is that that variant will do really well. In the case where there isn't a clear leader, Optimize will also give you a recommendation on what you can do at that point. In some cases, Optimize will suggest that you end the experiment. In other cases, it will tell you to keep it running for a lot longer. Now, between those two options, there is a lot of opportunity for you to make decisions on the experiment yourself. And Optimize is continuously estimating the probabilities and the conversion rates so that you now have the ability to make those decisions on your own. Now, this is one of the advantages with the Bayesian analysis. So in Optimize, I can both see and take action on those results at any time. Exactly. And so that, that's what makes it really interesting because as data comes in, we're continuously evaluating the probabilities and the conversion rates. So you can actually make those decisions quickly. Sounds great. So let's go a little bit deeper and talk about what are some of those data points that you actually have in your hand to make decisions. So below the recommendation section is what we call the objective card. And in the objective card, based on the objective that you picked, which is at the top corner right over here, you will see the data related to that objective by different variants. So there's two sections here. The first section is observed data. Now observed data is the data that Google Analytics is collecting from your experiment. So you have over here experiment sessions, which it's telling you how many sessions are uh, in each specific variant. And then here it's telling you how many of those sessions actually have conversions in them. And then the last column here is telling you a straightforward conversion rate for those variants. Now this is the source data that Optimize uses to do its analysis. Optimize takes a snapshot of this data multiple times a day. And up here in the screen, you will see when that last snapshot was taken. The next section is the analysis section. Now this is where a lot of the key value is uh, that Optimize provides. So the first column here is the probability to be best. Now what this is telling you is for any given variant, what is the probability that that variant is going to be 
better than every other variant that you have, including the original. So what you see here is it's saying there's a 67% probability that this variant is going to be the best. The second column here, which is the model conversion rate, or depending on the objective that you selected, the, the modeled objective value, is telling you what optimizes own model estimates the conversion rate is going to be in the long run for that particular variant. And it's giving you a range as well. So if you moused over this particular column, we call this a TIE fighter graph for you Star Wars fans out there, you're going to see three more values. In Optimize, we love to give you as much data as you need. And what this shows you is there's a 95% chance that the conversion rate for that particular variant is going to be between 50.9 and 54.5. The second line is going to tell you that 50%, there's a 50% probability that the conversion rate is going to fall between these two numbers. And then the third one is optimizes best estimate of what the conversion rate for that variant is going to be in the long run, in this case, 52.7. So now you can see how as data is coming in, you can quickly look at this and say, this is what your conversion rate is expected to be uh, in the long run for each specific variant. Nice, that's a lot of valuable data there. It's very glanceable and easy to take action on. But what about that third column on the right, the modeled improvement column? Yes, so the model improvement column is a really valuable piece of information. What the model improvement column does is it gives you quantitatively the lower and upper bounds of the improvement that you could expect to see for a given variant. So in this case, what it's telling me is that this specific variant, the best case, it's going to do 6% better conversion than the baseline. Now this is not an absolute difference, it's a relative difference. So it's 6% of the conversion rate of the baseline. So it's gonna be better. And in the worst case, it's gonna be negative 4% compared to the baseline. So looking at this, I get a clear indication of what my upside and downsides are if I went with a specific variant. So I can use the model improvement along with the probability to be best to make a really good decision on whether I should deploy that variant or not. Now the last, Part of this screen is a graph, which is the model conversion rate over time graph. And what it shows you is how Optimize has been estimating the conversion rate over time. So you saw here in this table, the model conversion rate, which is a snapshot in time. And the model conversion rate over time graph is simply showing that particular conversion rate progressing over time. So as you can see, there's a lot of information here all packaged together in a fairly intuitive way for you to understand and really help you make decisions on experiments quickly. Thanks Praveen, that was great. For more information, check out our other videos and learn more at the Optimized Resource Hub.